Hey guys and welcome to episode 9 of the beginner studio builder tutorial course thing. We've showed you guys how to make stuff by yourself, how to get stuff from others for free, and pretty much everything in between. Today we're going to go over plugins which will speed up your workflow tenfold but can also just do some really cool stuff. Today I have a list of 5 must have plugins for any new or experienced builder so let's get right into it. On the top of studio Roblox has a tab called plugins and here showcase is all of the plugins that you've installed. If you don't have any plugins yet, which I'm assuming you don't, you'll go into the toolbox, click this models tab, and drop down to plugins. Now there's a bunch of plugins that cost money, but there's a bunch more that are absolutely free. Roblox even gives you an essential tab, which has the most downloaded plugins I would assume on Roblox. And a cool little story, your boy actually made scene tools, and that's one of the plugins we're going to talk about today. Now, if you don't want to search this toolbox for the five plugins that I'll be showing you guys today, I'll have all of them linked down in the description, and all of them are completely free. Plugin number one is Add Easy Textures by Robocrafter. We'll go up here, we'll click Add Easy Textures, and now you can see hundreds, and I mean like literally, hundreds of textures pop up and I'd say 80 or 90% of them are seamless. This plugin lets you do a lot of cool things. We have grid size here just to adjust how it looks for you. Up next we have our apply options. So instant apply, this would mean if I click a texture, it will instantly apply to whatever part. Most of the time you don't want that. You'll want to click on this and it'll open this, give you all the information, the creator, the size, etc. And then we can click apply. If we go here, we have our texture options. So we could set the transparency so we don't have to do it later, the size and the color. And then we have tag options. Let's say we don't want to go through all hundreds of these materials. We could just type grass. Look by tags and click our tag grass and these are all of the grass type textures in this plugin. And you can simply add them on to any part you have selected with two clicks. One and two. That is some crazy looking grass. Let's make that green. Not much better, but a little bit. Guys, Add Easy Textures is a essential plugin if you are a Roblox builder. Up next, we have Archimedes. This one might be a little bit confusing to new developers, but it helps so much whether you want to make roads, paths, or make anything in a certain pattern. So what Archimedes does is it duplicates whatever part you're selecting and will place it on whatever axis at whatever angle you choose. So we could switch this, and as you can see, the blue one is where the part is going to go next. Let's say we wanted a path, and we want it to be anywhere from 1 to 99 degrees. Let's hit that at 20. We can click render, 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 and now we have a nice curved path. If we want that to be smoother, we can set our angle to less and render that a few times. If we want to start going the other way, we can swap sides. And if we want to turn the path, we could just flip the axis. Archimedes is an absolute game changer when it comes to making roads and paths. And I would say it's an absolute need for most Roblox builders. You can also do some crazy stuff. I've selected all of my paths and now if I click render all, yeah. Uh, that's just wow. The next plugin I have to showcase is Brush Tool, an absolute lifesaver if you're making a big scene. So here it is, guys. Brush Tool. If we click to start, we have a few options and settings. Right here, we can activate the brush. Here is radius, spacing, ignore water, ignore invisible. All of these very, very self explanatory, but here is where Brush Tool shines. Down here, you select what asset you want it to place, and we can set a random rotation, a random scale let's go 0.5 to 1 and we're not going to want wobble since we're going to be placing grass if we activate our brush and click you can see it randomly places these grass models. So this is only one model that we just placed probably 60 times or so, but it looks different every time because it's automatically rotating and scaling this model. And then let's say we want a tree. Cool, we'll unselect our grass and place the tree. As you can see, it places way too many in one spot. So we are gonna decrease our radius and up our spacing. And now when we click, it randomly places one of these trees. Now it's really cool that it comes with these two models but these two models will not match everyone's game style the coolest part about this plugin is you can make something and add it to the plugin let's say i want to place this part everywhere 
All I do, add it to the brush, activate brush, and look, I can now place these parts with the brush tool. This works for meshes, models, anything you can click on. Heck, look at this model. Let's add it to the brush tool, activate the brush, and there we go. Now we're placing, it looks like confetti. Brush tool is a must have for any builder. I still use it daily. Up next is scene tools, guys, my very own plugin. And the goal of this plugin was to make it easy to do tasks without having to script them. So if we open up scene tools, we have all of these options and they're all pretty self-explanatory if you've ever played or seen a Roblox game. Badge giver, if we click it and scroll down in properties, all we have to do is set a badge ID. Now, whenever a player hits this part, they will get a Roblox badge. This one is bounce. If a player steps on this, they bounce like a trampoline. You can also set your bounce size and bounce height in properties. Every single one of these, you could change the properties to make it cooler or to fit your game better. This is a super chrome. Making this is pretty easy, but a bit tedious. You need a duplicated part. You need a highlight. You need to set the highlight up correctly. Well, not anymore. Now you just need one click. We have hover, kill, light flicker, light pulse, rainbow speed, spin, and wind shake. All of these are one click additions to help bring your scenes to life. I have a full video just on this plugin. So if you're more interested in going more in depth, you could definitely go check that out. The last plugin for today is 3D text. Gone are the times you need to make a letter e uh you're gonna do this and it's just this is not great this is not practical at all we have an ugly letter e now but it took us so much time at least in comparison guys if we open up our plugin called 3d text and then we activate the cursor you can see we have a sample text pop up and this will automatically lock to whatever we're hovering over. So let's just put it on the ground. Now we can go here and we'll make it say plugins just by typing it in this box. Now we can set our font. Let's go graduate thickness. Cool scale. Nice. All of this stuff, guys. And then our color. Let's go yellow. Then we just click finalize and we have 3D text that we didn't have to manually make. A really cool plugin and a massive time saver, guys. Imagine placing all the parts to make out these letters. Heck, the P alone is seven parts. But these five plugins will definitely save you a lot of time, and I think that will wrap up our Beginner Studio series. If you have any more questions about anything in Studio, leave them in the comments down below, and the most liked one I will make a video on and add it to this playlist. But thank you guys for watching the series. I hope to see some incredible games made by you guys very soon. Have a great day. Later.